And for deeper insight into what the settler community is mulling today, we're joined by Efrat resident and international spokesperson for the Jewish community in Hebron, Ishai Fleischer. Ishai, thank you so much for being with us. Now, has there been any communication with you or, or other settler heads around you know, where things stand? What can you tell us? Well, nothing's actually happening today. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of celebrating today as Israel Sovereignty Day. It's like a holiday that I came up with in order to get something out of today, because so far uh, nothing has really happened. Uh, July 1st was the day that Prime Minister Netanyahu said that he would already assert Israeli sovereignty over some parts, up to 30 percent of Judea and Samaria, the so-called West Bank. Nothing has happened since. There's a lot of pressure, uh, articles in Israel are saying that there's Arab pressure, that mm. Jared Kushner doesn't want a unilateral uh, move that would somehow endanger the two-state solution part of the uh, deal of the century. So we're not exactly sure why, but it, nothing has happened yet. But from other quarters of the government, they're saying, now we're going to be moving forward. We'll be announcing soon uh, moves to assert sovereignty over places where Jews already live in Judea and right. Samaria. Well, you seem to have a pretty sunny attitude, at least now, and you've been waiting for this date for months, and some would even say for some movement on this for years. How do you feel about yet another delay, you could call it? Look, we've been waiting for, for the assertion of sovereignty, Israeli sovereignty over these places since the Six-Day War. If Prime Minister Netanyahu you know, won't use this great opportunity under President Trump, who, who's a friend of Israel, uh, to, to assert sovereignty in the land of Israel, it'll be a missed opportunity, but we'll wait for the next one. But I think we're still confident that there's time uh, mm -hmm. to indeed assert sovereignty over some parts of the land of Israel, certainly places like Maled Dumim, Gush Etzion Efrat, uh, Ariel, places where a lot of Jews are living in these places right. in well, Judea and Samaria, and, 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 and key places that anchor our, our lives here in the land so of Israel. So, Ishai, I want to ask you, though, because I, we know that there's a lot of disagreement even amongst the settlements. You know, is, is there a win-win situation for, for all the different ideologies going on there? I think win-win is that we've if you go to Maled Dumim today, you see it's an Israeli town. It's a normal Israeli town. The next win is to say, yeah, this is part of normal Israel. To assert that law and make purchase and, and selling a normal Israeli thing there, develop these cities. I see some of the images that you're showing now. This is, these are normal towns. So I think the win-win is to use this opportunity of the Trump administration to recognize the rights of Jewish people. Here's a great picture of Hebron right now, mm -hmm. uh, the town that I work for, where Jews have lived for 3,800 years. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's the win-win, and I think the opportunity is now. And and I understand that you've also been in contact with some Palestinians in the area. What can you tell us? What are they saying to you? Look, Palestinians say two things. They say some things that are going to be on camera. Then they say the party line, because we saw last week that uh, some of the Palestinians that were interviewed for Israeli TV and said that they want Israeli sovereignty and Israeli residency uh, were arrested and beaten uh, by the Palestinian Authority and their secret police. What Arabs are telling me all the time is just give me a blue residence card. Let me live in Israel. I, I don't want the corrupt Palestinian Authority. I don't want the jihadist Palestinian Authority. That's not all Palestinians, but there are many, thousands, tens of thousands, that want a normal life. They want to move forward. All right, Yishai, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you.